women tend to live longer. And that's just the first of the difference in life circumstances. So women tend to live longer, but at that longer period of life, they tend to have a longer period of limitations and disability. The bottom line too is that overall women have less pay than men and partly that's a result of job selection but also partly it's a result that in the same job women still can get less pay than men and there's another big factor in terms of what's different for women and men uh, in families where there are people that need help and care like little children or parents or nieces and nephews but in situations where somebody needs care, women are more likely to be the caregivers. So women are more likely to have some periods of part-time employment or interrupted employment. So when you look, if you had a thousand people reaching retirement age and you know they're the same age and they entered the workforce at the same age, but then you look at their work histories, you see that women have fewer years of work in part because of the caregiving and that disrupts their retirement benefits. So basically their life circumstances, their pay, also their career choices, they're frequently more likely to, to choose jobs that don't have quite as much pay. But men are much more likely to remarry than women. So there are a lot more women that are widows. In addition to that, uh, men tend to marry younger wives where it is a man, then they're much more likely to remarry. Now, the bottom line on this is that there's a huge difference of women over age 85. And the consequence, too, is that many, many more women are living alone. Women are much more likely to experience a decline in income after the loss of a spouse. But women have longer expected periods of disability than men do. And at age 65, uh, women have an expected period of disability on average of, of 2.83 years of more severe disability. Then the next risk that I want to mention is lower lifetime earnings and wealth. Um, Social Security and employment-based retirement benefits generally are based on earnings and history of employment. And as we mentioned earlier, women are likely to have less years of employment and lower earnings in some of those years. The next risk we'd like to talk about uh, is the risk of outliving assets. We get to retirement age, and at age 65, the average life expectancy is 20 years for a man, for an American man, and 22 years for American women. And about half of the people would live longer than that, and some will live to age 100 and beyond. But women have a greater chance of outliving their assets and of running out of money beyond Social Security. The healthcare risk issues and the risk of medical costs not covered by Medicare are pretty similar between men and women. And I want to mention inflation risk because that's such a big issue recently. And inflation year by year, one year's inflation affects men and women equally for that year, but because women live longer, they are likely to be more impacted by inflation.